I'll have. You've been tonic with a lime. You're not as invisible as you think you I'm are. I'm not in a cobra top. I would have pegged you as scotch drinker. I don't drink often. You didn't tie yourself to celebrate. Your transfer went through this afternoon. Jupiter fate could come in. And when gets my old job, much obliged. The Amos was the smallest move the Secretary General could swallow. Big symbol, minimal body count. Anyone with half a brain knew we were not going to leave that room without an escalation. I'm honored. You think you got to justify your actions to I'm me? I'm simply telling you how your tantrum got you sidelined. And how does that help your larger cause? Well, when your war breaks out, I'll be out there minimizing the body count. Enjoy your drink. Sit. Is that an order? If that'll make you sit your ass down, yes. Please. Get him a proper scotch, please. Lug a baleen. Now, why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you really think? We're just two people having a drink. No rags. Here. I'll get the ball rolling. I'm a smug old bitch who enjoys playing with life and death on her big chess board. A snake in a sorry... With dead eyes and a poisoned tongue. And the solar system is in tatters because of people like you and Aaron Wright. Despite your delusions to the contrary, you, Madame Undersecretary, may be the worst person I have ever met. Feel good getting that out of your system? Well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Yeah, it did. Now, why don't you grow up here and tell me why you're here? Tell me about Fred Johnson. When he joined the OPA and everyone lined up to stone him, you stayed quiet. Why? There was plenty said about him. I understand. It's hard to watch a war here. You don't understand it. shit about Fred Johnson. Enlighten me. Oh, then you want the real story? Yes, I would. I got this from someone who was there, someone I trust. Your predecessors in the previous administration buried it. The Belters who seized control of Anderson Station were trying to negotiate for days. UNN Command was jamming their comms. But when the Belters finally gave up, Colonel Johnson wasn't told that they'd surrendered. If he knew, he would have never called that strike in. Why wasn't he told? Because the powers that be wanted to send a message to the Belt. Defy us, we wipe you out, message sent. And Fred Johnson switched sides, why? As a revenge against the Earth? The UN pinned a medal on his chest for Anderson Station. He was a hero to Earth and despised everywhere else, all based on a lie. But you know what? He never said a word, didn't even try to clear his name. Just walked away. So does that make him a hero or a traitor? I don't know what it makes him. But I know that he's an honorable man who held on to his soul, and that is a tough thing to do in this line of work. Not bad. But I prefer beer. She's buying. Didn't think he had that in him. I need you to do something for me. I'm sure I'm going to love it. I need to send a communique off everybody's radar. No traces back to me. I want to talk to Fred Johnson. That is treason, isn't it? <laughs> 